In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple route combo that you can utilize to really move the ball up the field at will against most zone coverage defenses in Madden 21. This is going to beat every single zone in the game. We're going to cover why it beats every zone in the game. And we're going to be covering why it's a simple little trick that you can utilize out of the Arizona spread in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Um, now, if you haven't already uh, known, my channel focuses on tips, strategies, and tactics. And with the club series uh, kicking off last night, at least with the um, some of the key matchups kicking off last night uh, on ESPN, or I'm sorry, not on ESPN, but on Madden's uh, streaming channel, we're going to be going through those some this week. We're going to do some film study on that and kind of break down what we're seeing some of the higher level uh, players do and how you can learn from them and how I can learn from them. But we also post four videos a day every single day on YouTube that are designed to give you these tactics and strategies, little concepts um, that you can utilize. So we're gonna break down a route combination. Um, this is a very, very simple route combination. It's not gonna seem like a lot, but it actually is, especially if you're facing a lot of zone coverage. The meta's kind of shifting now on the defensive side of the ball. A lot of people are running zone coverage. Not as many people are running man coverage because man coverage does have some holes now, especially with the wide receivers and Mutt becoming much, much better overall. It becomes much harder to stop or, or harder to defend um, those receivers when they have really, really high route running uh, players. So we're going to go over this. This is a simple route combination. You could do this out of any formation. I'm going to show you how to do it out of the spread Y slot. Uh, the spread Y slot is my favorite formation in Madden 21. Um, it's the formation that I based my Arizona guide off of. And if you want to pick up my full offense and defense with over 125 pages of material on it, you can pick that up in the description of this video. But um, it's called the Madden 21 Competitor's Guide. But we're going to do this and we're going to showcase this concept out of a couple of different plays. The first play we're going to showcase it out of is Smash or Hitch Seam, uh, either one. The second uh, play we're going to showcase this out of is out of the uh, curl wheel play, which is my personal favorite play in Madden 21. And then we can also showcase this concept out of shallow cross. Um, each shallow cross is very effective as well. We're going to start with curl wheel, and then we're going to work our way uh, through everything. Um, but what we're going to primarily show you, showcase you here is we're going to start with just default zone coverage. So nothing has changed here. There's nothing changed on the coaching adjustments whatsoever, okay? Only thing that is different is auto flip us off. And if we're facing this, we're just going to use the best um, defense that we can possibly use, uh, which would be the Dime 146. The Dime 146 is probably the best pass defense in Madden 21 from a coverage perspective. It gives you the opportunity to do a lot of unique things. The one issue with it is it can be a little susceptible to the running game. Um, and that's why people... Most people won't uh, won't sit in this for, for the most part of the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a what's called a two deep five underneath. So Tampa two has two safeties in the deep zone, but then they have five underneath zones to try to take away some of these underneath routes. We'll showcase this out of every zone, but um, for right now we're going to showcase it out of Tampa two to start, and then we'll just work through these things as we can go. So what a lot of people are doing in Madden 21, I especially am also doing this um, this little tactic here, and it's primarily to stop like some of the flood concepts, right? Some of the basic, you know, corner streak flat concept. If you want to stop that, all you have to do is take your uh, corners and you put them in these purple zones. But as you can see, what that's going to leave on the defense is that's going to leave a massive hole in the defense in the middle or right up in the seams. So that's where you'll see people um, be able to quick throw these seams like that, just like that against against zone coverage. So what we're uh, going to show you today with this route combo, what, very simply, is what you'll see here is we can effectively turn this um, into let's put a class back out there, something like this, okay? And what we can basically do with this is we can take our left side receiver, uh, Equanimous St. Brown, and we can throw him on a hitch route. And then what we could do is we just need a flat route of some type. It's basically two, two hitches and a flat route. So what we're gonna do on this is we're gonna put the tight end on a hitch, 
and we're just going to motion him over and then we're going to take Valdez Scantling and put him on a smoke screen. This is a very basic concept. It's a three, it's, it's, it's essentially a stick concept. It's just a little bit backward, or maybe a snag, I don't know. But this is essentially, you know, an all curl concept from trips. And it just gives the defense a lot of trouble, especially if you pair it with a powerful round on the backside that needs to be user defended, like a post wheel combination um, or a post shoe flat combination. And what you're going to see at the snap of the ball is one, if not both of these hitches will be open. Okay, one, if not both of these hitches uh, will be wide open for you to be able to hit it. Um, and that's what makes this so effective. So we're going to show you now. But what if we left? What if we left the, the yellow zones out there? And what if maybe we shaded coverage down to take away that? And then what if we did something like this right here? Right? This is this is pretty much max coverage, but we're trying to come underneath and we're trying to make something happen to the underneath zones. Well, what you're gonna see, again, they have to use for the post route because the post route is the best post route in the game. Um, and so we're gonna run the same route combination, just like this right here. And what you're gonna see is at the snap of the ball, that um, higher up hitch route that we have smart routed is going to be wide open. If you can't smart route the hitch route, you can run a curl. That's just fine. Against most zone coverages, that's not going to get pressed. Um, but you see here, essentially it's a three by one um, you know, basic concept. This post route to Adams, because it's, and this is why I like to do it from spread, because it's from spread, it's just so much harder to defend. And you can hit these quick hitches right here. And if, if they if they don't shade underneath, meaning if they don't bring their their zones underneath, then what's going to happen? So let's say maybe they did the maybe instead of that maybe they want to try to take away Brown. So they're gonna they're going to basically um, shade up. They take away Brown, but now they leave these two underneath zones wide open. So it puts the defense in quite a pickle. Um, and they're really not able, they're not going to have the resources that they need because the bottom line with the hook zones, you need, you, you really need a very, you know, it's borderline almost impossible to guard in zone because, in, 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 and it's a very simple route combination. That's the crazy part. Um, so if we go into coaching adjustments, what we're going to do is we're going to put our flats at, at five yards. That's going to take away the smoke screen. That's going to take away that quick smoke screen. Okay. If we take our curl flats, we're going to try to put those, let's say we put those at 10 yards, okay? And then let's put our hook zones at 5 yards. This is kind of the best defense that I've been able to find for this um, out of zone coverage. Now, man coverage is a little bit different of a story. You're going to see that they're going to probably, you know, man coverage would be kind of the key. But effectively, what you could do is you could take these curl flats and drop them from the line of scrimmage. And then throw two hook curls out. So we got a hook curl, we got a vert hook. We have we have we have a lot of cloud coverage on that side of the field now. And so if we don't have a chance to stop it like this, then it's like, what do you do? Well, that's why the slot curl does so good because that smoke screen should pull both of those outside flooding zones to the outside. And as you see, they do, and we're able to hit this right in behind those yellow zones. Now, one thing we'll try really, really quickly is what if you had what if you had two yellow zones? What if you had like a, a hook curl or vertical hook, but you didn't have them shaded? So, so they basically were able to do whatever they you know, were to basically do the default. You see that this this curl flat's not gonna defend it. Um, it's just it's not gonna happen. The best, honestly, the and, and once you change the zone drops, then the zones will not press. Okay, they're just gonna go to where they're supposed to go. And if you just change one zone drop, that's true. So like if you just change flat zone drops to five, they're not gonna jump to the next level. So you basically can't do zone drops. And if you can't do zone drops, then you can't stop the post route or you can't stop the crossing route or you can't stop and on and on and on and on. So you basically are putting yourself in a really, really difficult position. Um, we'll show you here, and I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to run this. Um, and you, the, the cool part about it is you could do it for multiple players. So they can't. The solution can't just be for them to man up. So this is the route combination right here, right? This is from spread. This is uh, in the Arizona Cardinals uh, deal. So curl flat, curl flat, and then we're gonna put this guy on a hook curl, and then just for good measure, we'll put this guy on a vertical hook. So we're dropping everybody in coverage. Literally everybody is going into coverage. And let's just see if we can throw this guy. I mean, we're going to throw everything we can at this. We're going to literally throw the kitchen sink at this thing. 
Uh, we'll throw a deep third over the top. We'll throw a spy. Like we are throwing everything we can at this route combination and take a look at what's gonna happen. Snap of the ball and voila. Both foot curls fade back to the over top hitch and you're able to get a check down hitch for a quick gain. That is why this route combination is so critically effective. It torches zone. Even though it torches it for only five yards, it is something that is so, so, so good against the zone coverage. Now, let's just say real quickly, let's just say we take, um, let's just say we do something like this. Then. So if we reset the play, what's cool about this is you can get creative with this route combination. It's any trips in the game. So any three by one set, you can do this route. And I'm trying to figure out a way to do it for two by two. Um, but basically what you can see here, this, this, we leave it like this and you have all of the elements that you just had. So as you see, bird hook, bird hook sits on him and we're able to hit that crow right in behind him. This is what makes Arizona so powerful because you start with the post route, the outside routes. Most people start with the inside routes, like the crossing routes or the, um, whatever. Arizona's offense starts with the outside routes. It starts with the post route. It starts with the corner route. It starts with the, uh, you know this version of a post it starts with all these different things okay now eight shallow cross let me show you a way you can do this so what you could do is you could run eight shallow cross and run it simply like this right here now this is not going to be as effective because the curl flats um, ideally what you want is you want the curl flat you want you want Valdez Scantling to be coming in a little bit that's why it does work from curl wheel but what you'll see here now the running back's going to take the flat zones and you can hit that curl in behind him the one thing they could potentially do on that is if they mabel the safety. Let's say they take the safety on that side. Let me show you real quick. So if they take the safety, they put him in a curl flat. This this route combo could, or this route, um, I'm sorry, this zone drop setup could and give this a little bit of trouble. So eight shell across, and what you'll see here, see how the running back still pulls him out, and you can hit it on the inside pass lead. Like to me, that is just bonkers. So. Anyways, guys, I just want you to mess around with this. I was I was uh, experimenting with this a little bit la late last night. I thought it was really, really effective for zone. Um, for man, I'm working on continuing to make it effective. I've got some things I still need to lab up and practice. It does work okay against man. I would say there's some things that uh, the defense can do, especially if they have acrobat at their cornerbacks, that man can give this a little bit of a little bit of a run for its money. But there are some, like I said, there's some things that we're working up for that. And so just stay tuned to the channel. If you want to get our free text message tips, we go over a, this week we went over a 55 minute defense on how to basically um, defend Trump's tight end. We gave you a bunch of different concepts and things you can apply. We also included a couple of blitzes for you in that as well. Um, and so we have multiple uh, tips like that. We give out one tip every single week, high level exclusive, where we really do a deep dive on something within the game. So if you want to pick up those tips, all you got to do is just shoot me a text. I'm going to throw my uh, cell phone number in the top left-hand corner of your screen right now. It's 812-216-3644. Shoot me a text. My number is also in the description, and I can get you that video. Um, it's only for text message members, so once you shoot me a text, then I can shoot you the video. Um, be sure to include your name in that so that I can save you in my cell phone. Thank you so much for your support. We've got more tips coming out later today, so be sure to stay subscribed to the channel and just stay tuned and check on to that. As far as live streaming goes, um, I have tested positive for COVID-19, so I've been a little bit under the weather. It's kind of spotty. Um, with COVID, you basically don't really know when you're gonna feel okay, like I feel okay right now, um, or when you're gonna feel like really, really, really badly. And so because of that, I would encourage you just to stay tuned to the Discord about live streams. As normal, we normally stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, but with uh, COVID and everything like last night, I was really, really, really sick. And so just kind of stay tuned in that, stay flexible with that. But if you're on the Discord, you will be notified every time we go live um, at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And also, um, for the most part, guys, Discord's a great place to be able to connect with other Madden players and just to be able to um, talk through things uh, and get better together. So if you haven't already jumped in the Discord, there's a link in the description of this video for you to be able to do that. All right, guys, we're going to jump off here. There's some other videos for you to check out. But if you have any questions, just shoot me a text.